As you can see guys in that video or in that clip that is Marwa being harassed and discriminated in Dominican Republic. It happens that uh, these people don't actually like or they don't want Haitians. They don't want anything to do with Haitians. So when they see a black man or a black woman, they feel like this person is definitely a Haitian or something. And so that is why they went after uh, Marwa and they arrest him, which was not good at all. Like, why would, you know, why would they discriminate these people, Haitians? And they assume that, like, everyone is an, is an Haitian, which is not actually correct. They just come after you. Or maybe because uh, this guy was filming and they felt like, okay, Maybe, maybe he's sent or something, is an investigator or something like that. And they were actually not feeling it. So at this time, De Mwango, the sister of Aya Marwa, is actually in Dominican Republic. She's there and definitely, you know, definitely those people are still there. Those racists, you know, those people... Who, are discriminative they're still in dominican republic and anything can happen anything can happen and so i've been watching these clips of d mwango when she was uh filming it's just uh, a few hours ago she posted the video and this guy who happens to be a black guy selling jelly i think it's jelly yeah on the streets this guy took advantage of her and felt like, okay, this girl might not complain about the change or something. And I was like, okay, I thought it's just a uh, discriminating or, uh, you know, discriminating black people is coming from the whites. But this one, this guy is a black guy. And he felt like this girl is definitely not from here and i can take advantage of that which was not okay it was not good and what he did he actually wanted to take more money from the money that dim wango gave her gave him so let's watch okay let's just watch the clip and then we'll talk about it let's watch the clip it's a bit long but let's watch it and then we'll analyze No, no, no. 
from Africa. I told you. Yeah, I can't believe you wanted to give me less change. You know? Okay. But I knew it was coming. That's why I decided to record before giving him. Guys, sometimes it's good to record. I just wanted to have evidence that I gave him 2,000. You know, Dominican uh, pesos. So, so if Deep Mango didn't have a camera or wasn't recording the whole thing, this guy would have actually turned against him and, you know, maybe the police would have been involved and things would get really bad because a country like that where there is discrimination, even the police cannot save you. When you get to the police, it will get worse. It will get you in more trouble. You might end up uh, being locked. Yet you are a foreigner. You have no one to help you out, you know. It's really bad. This guy happens to be like someone who is... Uh, is uh, these scammers on the streets, you know. There are a lot of scammers on the streets. They are everywhere. But this one, you know, this one was a black guy. Instead of helping... This lady, who happens to be a fellow uh, black, you know, he took advantage of her. He took advantage of her because the change that he gave her was way lesser than what Dimwango gave her, gave him. And if there weren't like those people standing next to him, you know, the, those two men who were actually seeing what was happening and what was going on, maybe it would have said that Dim Wango actually lied about everything and maybe she took more jelly than the money or something like that, you know, and things would not have gone well for her. So one thing I need to tell Dim Wango is to be so watchful and so careful because anything can happen, you know, and we... We are your supporters, we always watch you and we pray for the good, good things for to come your way. The way they discriminated or they harassed Marwa was actually bad and I'm told it happens. It happens regularly, it happens a lot, especially when you are black, it happens a lot. So guys, kindly leave a comment, let me know what you think about this and uh, 
give the video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching my video and see you in my next one